Top of the morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. So today, me and Lily, we're heading out to the Hmong village in Minneapolis, I think. Minneapolis is in Nepal, I forgot. But uh, we're gonna go see if they got any cool things that we might need or want, and if they got some food. So let's go. trying to get here, huh? Spoons. She wants some spoons. Out of all the things here, she don't want the money cup. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> Out of all the things here, she wants a spoon. Ooh, you want to get that? That looks pretty cool. Yeah, if you get that, you can learn how to make it. A few moments later. So guess what? We didn't have enough cash for the Hmong village, so now we're at the gas station. Grabbing some more cash. Yeah, but we'll be right back. That's all he can say, it's good. Nice, crunchy, sweet, sour, a little spicy in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet, that's the taste of flavor. Mm -hmm. I love it. Man, where are we at, babe? We're here at Super Kazoo, located in one of the buildings of Mom Village or Mom Marketplace. And we decided to get four dishes. One of them being the number one special, which is cow pit. I believe it's a Hmong dish, correct me if I am wrong. But it's made with these thick handmade noodles with chicken, and I believe that's it. And then like some herbs and stuff, very simple. But it looks very good, very homey. It's a cold day here, so. Mm -hmm. Warm the soul. That's right. So we got some pork belly. Oh yeah. Always gotta get that. Yep, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then we got some sesame oil, which is, what's interesting about this one is that we got three different flavors. We, we don't, don't know, know which, which one is which. Is which. We're gonna be playing roulette with this, but one is filled with taro, which we never had. Mm -hmm. One is filled with coconut, and the other one is filled with yellow and mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we get to get a papaya salad. Papaya salad. And it's so nice because she made right in front of our face, and she actually gave us a little plate yep. that the clip before. She yep. gave us a little plate to try before to see if she needed to alter it at all. Yep. It's kind of cool. So. Mm -hmm. So how's that soup though? Take a little bite of that soup. Let, it, let the people know. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That chicken, some broth. Man, how was it? <laughs> it is Especially so during cold. this cold time. It is so cold, but the soup is like super light, flavorful, very rich, like chicken flavor. And then the noodles. It's odd because usually have a piece of wood chew. This one, it literally disintegrates as soon as you put it in your mouth. Like, if you rub your tongue, it's everything in your mouth. It disappears, which is nice if you don't have teeth. <laughs> but it's so good. It's so good. Now. And now I'm going to try my favorite pork belly. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice and crunchy. Fresh. Ooh, the sauce is really good too. I don't even know what's in that sauce, but delicious sauce provided and they sell it right here in large slabs and, and we asked them to cut it up, it up. Mm -hmm. so nice. you pick whatever one you want and that's the one for you yeah. but anyway i'm digging to this mo eat it all guys yeah probably i'm gonna try one of the sesame balls a little mystery mystery balls mm -hmm. which one i get it was nice and hot so, oh. Ooh. Nice. it's poofy very poofy which one you get? Mmm, mm, I think it's a taro. Your favorite? Mm -hmm. I love taro. So, I think this is taro. It tastes like taro, but I actually bit into like some coconut, I think. I think I did, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's really good. The mochi is really soft and chewy and warm. 
nothing gooey nor soapy. And if crunchy guys, on the outside. If you guys ever so. see this, get it. It's so good. It's such a guilty pleasure of ours. Crunchy on the outside and then chewy goodness. Mm -hmm. Lily's gonna eat the second one. We don't know which one. Boom, okay. What is that one gonna be? Which one did you get? I got the mangri, which is like the usually traditional one. Mm -hmm. So good. It's I like whenever it's not grainy. Creamy texture outside, slightly sweet. Outside, slightly sweet. Sesame as well. Very, very good. Sweetie, this whole <laughs> Any of you Asian folks out there had any of these little little guys in your house? You know, you know who this is. <laughs> My mom probably still has a little so shoebox full of these. Hey, I'm tired too. You wanna fight? I want to fight though. Let's go eat. Eh, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Found this. You guys ever watched? <laughs> ever watched this anime? <laughs> looking at it right now, babe. Huh? Anklet. I'm trying to get an anklet right now. Alright guys, so just a little review of the whole experience here at Hmong Village or the Hmong Market. It's freaking awesome. The food's good. And it's like a little night market in there, so which is really cool. You can walk around and there's like little markets, little stands here and there. Like jewelry, what, skin care. What, what else, babe? What else? What else they got? You can do your taxes here. You oh yeah, you can do your get, taxes here. You can sign insurance, up for insurance. Life insurance. You, you can know. go across the street like a little grocery store, which is funny because the main building has everything already, but on the side there's a little mini market. And they sell blankets. If you guys need your Asian blankets for this cold weather, oh, y'all can blankets. get them. If you don't know what those are, Look it you're up. missing out. Man. They are the best blankets yes, ever. Yes. I keep talking to him. I was like, we need one. We need one. You know we love it. Yuna's gonna bite it up. That's what she's gonna do. She's gonna cuddle up with it. She's been cuddling up a lot. Yeah, she's been cuddling with me. Even though I stiff her face off. Anyways, what'd you get, Missy? Oh, but I got a ring. I got a, oh I got a. I'm trying to show off. I got a jade ring. Ooh, so cool. I like these. They're just cute little, I don't know. Little nice staples. And then, what? it spoke to me, I swear. Signs from above. But I got this necklace. And I turned around. And bam! Let me All focus on that. Let me just focus on that. Bam! In my face. I don't know if it's not even focused. I don't know. Okay, there it goes. In my face. This was in my face. And what, what do you know? It's an L mm -hmm. with the hearts. And it's mm -hmm. so hard that to find jewelry that has an L on it already because it's, it's not. It stands for. It stands for love. <laughs> just but lovely. Yeah. I mean, today I'm already wearing another necklace with my name. But this one says L. And I thought it was cute. So, but highly recommend. It's a really neat place to go if you guys are ever in town or close by. You can literally do everything and anything in this one. Came home for this little one. Yeah. So she can go on a little car home. ride yep. with us. We're gonna go get some food and we decided to bring a little monster with us. Mm. Come on, baby. Let's try to get some <laughs> fresh air. Yeah. So, what are we getting? McDonald's? Yes, we got some McDonald's. Dude, I'm looking too. We get McDonald's? Sushi. Now, we're getting some drive through sushi. Y'all ever had that? Well, we actually, it's actually takeout. Yeah, it's takeout. <laughs> because of the whole COVID restrictions, yeah. they actually opened up their drive through window just for takeout delivery. Oh They're really smart. She's gonna attack the people. Yeah. Watch. Hi, I, I did an order for some sushi. Uh, Sorn, S O R N. <laughs> oh my god. This is you the right time she sees somebody. You can't. You can't even jump off, girl. <laughs> yeah, she's nuts. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> this is what happens when I pick you up from work. Yeah, you're gonna have to hold it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Close the window, close the window. You're gonna jump out. I know. Hey. Uh, me. Freaking my head. You can say hi. Crack, it up, crack it up a little bit more. She can jump out of it. She can't jump out. Yeah, she can't. I got my hand right here. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, she's a friendly. <laughs> she's overly aggressively overly friendly. Yeah. Overly aggressively friendly. Oh my gosh, she's she's nuts. 
It's funny because before we got a Shiba, we obviously did like the research and asked a lot of people about it, about the breed specifically. Like we were saying that they're they are aggressive or they're possessive, and we haven't come across that yet. Come yeah. across or that like, we don't. Or they're or they're like shady. Yeah. But she's not. No. Dude, she loves everybody. Loves everybody, anything. And she acts like a stranger is their her mom. She would cry. But, yeah, you know. our, anytime she sees our landlord or anybody uh, familiar, she starts right. crying. Thank you. So what did we get? So I, this one is the Amazon Princess Roll. This one right here. Um, I got that one for Lily because she was like telling me to surprise it with the roll. So that's the one I got. And inside of it has a spicy tuna with some cucumber and tempura bits. And on the outside of it is some fresh tuna with some avocado and spicy mayo. And then for myself, I got a crispy crunch roll. Um, I wanted some crunchy today. So I got, it, uh, on the inside is tilapia with some crab meat avocado, some cream cheese, and some fish eggs. Mm -hmm. The outside is deep fried with spicy mayo and spicy eel sauce. Mm. But yeah, we're gonna dig in. And that girl is already digging in her leg. I don't what know doing? what she's doing. Ma'am, yeah, this is you too. This is not the other one. Excuse me. Hey. <laughs> okay. but anyways, we got some takoyaki here too. Yeah, some takoyaki and they gave us the sauce on the side. Mm. You wanna enjoy Let me try it? first? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Can I have some? You cannot. <laughs> Please. Put in this one. That's for the takoyaki, not oh. the sushi. Wow. Oh. Putting quite a bit of wasabi in there. Don't die. I'm gonna um, take a little bit off first. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. But anyways, a little blow here. Dip. The, the roll was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. I think it would be better if it was fresh. Mm -hmm. um, because who knows long, how long it's been waiting and sitting out there for us. Um, it's not that crunchy. Try that roll, I got you. Hopefully she I, likes it. I think we've had this before. You think so? Mm -hmm. Mine is really good. The tuna on the outside is actually decently thick. So it was really meaty on the outside and inside. The rice, I wish it was a little bit less but it's not too bad and i wish there was a little bit more feeling honestly because here you can tell not really that much feeling mm -hmm. i don't know if it's just one part of the roll maybe if i get deeper there'll be more yeah there's a little bit more but i wish it was consistent throughout the roll but not bad not the best but it might also be because as we said earlier we took it to go usually sushi is never good whenever we take it to go to be honest it's meant to be just dined in. Right. But we're gonna kill this. Probably throw something on Netflix or YouTube. Mm -hmm. Play with a little monster and then call it a night. See you next time. Bye. Bye.